What's going on you guys? Mitchell, Mitchell's Lawn Care here. Thanks for tuning into the channel and the long-awaited truck and trailer 2021 setup video is here. I know probably nobody's been waiting for it, but anyways, here it is behind me, truck, trailer. So let's see this thing. All right, y'all. So going into 2021, same as 2020, got my 2019 Ram 2500 Cummins crew cab long bed. I uh, ordered this thing, I guess, uh, towards uh, early 2019. I can't remember, but anyways, um, big horn edition. Got the old, you know, C mask. It's got the the big display in it. A lot of fun. Sunroof cloth interior hats i didn't uh didn't get this thing cleaned up you know it's a work truck so it's got the amp research power steps on it as you can see that right there so pretty nice eight foot bed northern tool toolbox got, some, got all my you know got all my stuff in there Logo, just mo bro. Another shout out to Wally. Twills from the ZK72 back there. Um, eight and a half by 20 enclosed. And here are the mowers thus far for this year. So here on the right, got the standard X48 detached hitch on the front, quick shoot shoot blocker. In the middle, got the ZK61 detached hitch quick shoot shoot blocker and the twills and the new bad boy in the fleet the 72 zxt with the 26 14s on the back big old beefy rubber so 40 horsepower vanguard 37 horsepower vanguard 23 and a half horsepower kawasaki that's the right fleet it's going to take us through this year anyways may have something a little red coming later i don't know maybe Anyways, eight and a half by 20 enclosed trailer. Like I said, got this in 2016. So this is the sixth year running it. I know, do the math. 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 will be six. Equipped on the inside is my green touch racks. So we'll show you that real quick going around. Got my hedge trimmers, hand tools, Hopefully this thing will adjust with the light. Again, didn't clean anything. I'm out here working today. So I had my catch right bagger up here. I gotta get all that blown off. Um, Rubbermaid fast track little shelving unit right there where I keep smodding in stuff. Two cycle oil, um, the, you know, the orange hand cleaner for getting the, the goop off. Um, uh, first aid kit, let's see, toolbox. Um, there's a, uh, uh, air compressor stuff in here toe straps random things like that on the shelf up top is where i keep tarps and roundup rm43 and i don't even know why this thing's in here i haven't used the dewalt battery powered mower uh, in like two or three years but um always keep a uh, spare backpack blower in here so this is actually a br700 now and you might be wondering it's a lot of trailer a lot of equipment for one guy this used to be for my crew, and we were running out of this thing four years with a full-time crew. So down here on the bottom is where I keep all my sure cans, minus one 2.2, which stays in the back. Uh, I'll keep two five-gallon utility cans. One's in my carport right now, but I keep 10 gallons of water on here at all times. And let's see, two and a half gallon DeWalt cordless, and uh, yeah, cordless uh, air compressor in the back trash can jack and normally i have a green carry barrel right here uh, but it's out um detach carry barrel transporter right there keep my ladder spare tire and again trimmer racks so go in here in more detail so right here behind me um, first thing you come to is a 2.2 gallon sure can on the uh, original sure cage which i guess 
it was only called a sure cage so they come out with a fuel cage now but anyways i keep that right here it's handy so when you open the trailer and you got to fuel up the handheld power equipment it's right there at all times i don't mount five gallons on the walls i just think it's a lot of weight so they're in the uh, shelving unit up front like you just saw so next is the uh, bps 100s i've got the pb 770t by echo pb 8010t i've got another one of these out in the shed so keep the big boy blower and then the 770t for you know all the general just basic cleaning off driveways stuff like that um, right here got the multi-cage or multi-tool rack you can put chainsaws, uh, lots of stuff in this thing. I had a little top handle Echo chainsaw in here, but I took it out to do a job. I just hadn't put it back. Um, right here, two multi-tool cages. So I've got an Echo and a steel hedge trimmer in here. Okay. They're, uh, they're pretty cool. I got them locked up right now, but as you can see, so there's the steel, there's the Echo. And over here, is where I keep my shovels, mulch fork, yard rakes, leaf rakes, stuff like that. So they're all readily available. And I've already went through what's up in the front. Um, trash grabber and let's see. Trash grabber, um, pruners. Got my uh, pole pruner right here. Always got to have a spare tire. So I just recently put... 225 75s on the trailer so this is a brand new uh, spare really looking forward to running those tires this year and the last trimmer rack that you come to is the four position by green touch and i have got the fs maybe this will adjust i don't know there we go so the fs 91r fs 111r fs 110r and the fc 95 so i've got three trimmers one of them's actually broke got to get it fixed and a blade edger and back here on the back is where i keep my extra spool of line i've got a strong battery pack uh, battery powered sprayer right here and the uh, steel sprayer right here so roundup rm43 I keep those separate that way i don't have to worry about what's in what um when the mowers are on here the standard x is up front sideways the uh zk is right here in the center and the zxt is now going in the back so that's how the mowers go and i've got e-tracks used to use those when i first started using the trailer and then I switched over and was using the fast track system, which is with the wheel chocks. Now I use a combination of the wheel chocks and then the shock strap, E strap or E track uh, strap. So pretty cool. Goes into the the, the E track right there, and um, of course it's the shock strap. So really high quality strap. But that's the trailer. Not much to it. Uh, I've loved it. It's been a good trailer. Um, again, eight and a half by 20. That's a Synergy. Bought it down at NC Trailer Sales in Thomasville, North Carolina. It's uh, served me well. Minor issues here and there, but that's going to happen with a full-time setup. So now I'm going to put the mowers back in here, show you how they look in here, and show you how much room I don't have in this thing.
So, as you can see, with all the mowers in here, it's uh, cram full. Like I said, the Standard X goes at the front sideways, then the ZK61, and now the ZXT at the back. And I've got about six to eight inches to spare. So, to say that it's packed is an understatement in here, but it uh, serves the purpose and does a great job. And it's perfect. It's a lot for one guy, but hey, you know, what's wrong with having a Swiss Army knife when you go to work, you know? So I got everything I need in here and a little bit of stuff I don't need. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the truck and trailer setup for 2021. If you did, smash that thumb button. Give the video a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you got any questions, comments about anything you saw, let me know in the comment section down below. We'll see you next upload.